All right, guys, we are back, and I went and trained up some peeps. Uh, honestly, I'm training a lot more now, um, towards the beginning, just because I'm, uh, I want some of these to evolve, especially, like, Bullet, you know? What, once I have more to work with later on, I don't feel like I'll have to train as much, but now we're, like, my whole team is still weak and they don't have any strong like stab moves or anything like that definitely want to train them up a bit so let's let's see what we got so we got bullet up to 18 um it was starting to level up really slow so i was like you know what i'll just kind of have bullet in the front this episode and we'll see if we can get him up to 20. and then we got fanny up to 15. it keeps on picking up great balls well i got two so that's kind of cool got to repel this time um, it learned rollout, so that was cool. With defense curl, that'll be fun. Um, then Lalo just got to 15. I didn't really level up Lalo much, just because it was already kind of higher than everyone else. And it levels up fast. Um, so I figured that'll probably be the next one I level up after Bullet. And then Pina, I didn't level up, or I tried not to. <laughs> it, it's kind of my only thing that I have to beat, like, Geodudes or, like, strong ground Pokemon. So, it ended up gaining a few levels, um... But it didn't learn anything. And then last, I found a Pokemon and I was like, I just had to catch this thing. Um, last episode, I think it was, we found the Slugma and I was like, there's better fire Pokemon out there. And I happened to stumble upon one of them. And that's my man Norbert, the Charmander. <laughs> now, I decided on Charmander for a few reasons. One, because like I said, I keep using Blastoise. I mean, it's my favorite, so I don't mind, but I was like, hey, this is a starter that I have not used in a long time. Um, two, the reason I did get it is because the last time I used it, I believe was in my Diamond and Pearl uh, Chain Break Nuzlocke with Shane, and I caught... I don't know if I caught it as a Charizard, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I named it Norbert. I might be getting this completely wrong. But that's why I decided to catch it. That's why I named it that. Um, I leveled it up a bit. Yeah, I caught it at level 13. I only leveled it up one level just because uh, I wanted to focus on others who had been on the party longer. And it's going to evolve at like level 16. So I figured we could probably get that done soon too. So, that being said, let's go explore some stuff. I'm going to take this from Fanny. Also, I mean... Um, you could have seen it during the grinding montage, but the whole time I was also racking up like berries and stuff while I was grinding, so I have a pretty decent amount of like citrus berries now. Um, I might go and make more Pokeballs real quick. Oh, there's also a citrus berry? These are all citrus berries? Hey. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna have some health, that's for sure. But I definitely have a lot of red apricorns too, so I could make some berry, uh, some pokeballs. So I think I'm gonna go do that real quick, and then we will continue on our journeys. So I don't know why, but all of a sudden the the system has changed. I don't know what happened, but now when I go to it, it asks me what kind of pokeball I want to make. Um, I don't think I can make any of these right now. Um, but yeah, it's like, oh, you want a crafter, or how many you want to craft? So, kind of cool actually. I'm gonna make five more, so I should have about 15. I want to keep enough apricorns so that way I can make uh, more Pokeballs, but it's kind of cool that it just like changed all of a sudden. It makes it faster, although I did kind of enjoy the graphics of it. It was kind of fun to see that happen. So we're gonna go get those uh, other two citrus berries, and then we will continue on with our ventures. Also, if you guys didn't uh, see the granny montage, I don't know what to do here. This thing could like kill me with stupid side wave. Um, if you didn't see the granny montage, I actually ran into a Snorlax, a wild Snorlax. It was crazy. It used belly drum, but it was chill because it couldn't touch Lalo anyways. Stop missing bullet, oh my gosh. Um, so that was pretty cool to battle and take down. I could have caught it and got leftovers. That would have been cool, but I was like, nah, because I wasn't going to use it anyways. And um, another thing too, 
that I've noticed um, through the grinding montage was that we um, the assassin stone that I got is actually really cool like I've been dodging attacks just left and right non-stop I mean the happiness I'm pretty sure is going up on my Pokemon more so it's more likely to happen because I've been trying not to let bullet die specifically for that yeah so we got we got some decent happinesses up in here I'm pretty sure it starts at base 70 so yeah bullets definitely getting there a little bullet dude but for now let's go uh, let's go venture found us a nice powerful Clefairy um, I'm definitely gonna like battle against the Pokemon too just to keep getting the experience for now okay he's he's defense curling on me let's try Norbert hit him with that special Ember bestow yo what I got a comet shard do I get to keep that okay wow that did nothing um <clears throat> I want to say too I looked up some of the uh <laughs> I looked up some of the um crafting for the pokeballs and apparently a uh, comet shard is one of the ingredients in a master ball which is really crazy also this thing is taking forever but I guess I'm gonna do just as little damage with anything else by this point I'm kinda just hoping I burn him there we go there we go oh my gosh chill I was gonna say if we get Norbert strong enough I can actually probably try and take on uh, the Steelix with this but yo can you stop okay I should be able to knock it out with Ember yeah cool there you go Norbert get yourself some nice experience 250 312 why is okay I, I have a theory I have a, I have a theory that I want to tell you guys about it's a pretty sucky theory but at the same time I understand why they did it so my theory because I noticed this with Lalo when I first caught it that Lalo oh I did get the the thing Hey, nice. All right, so let's head on down. Um, I noticed that Lalo was leveling up way faster, like way too much faster. You feel me? So I also noticed that it didn't listen to me and I didn't know why, like how they did that. So I kind of put two and two together and I don't know if this is a thing, but I feel like they attempted to like change the game mechanics so that way every wild Pokemon you catch is like technically traded to you somehow um, and I think they do that just for the sole purpose of them potentially not listening to you to an extent and that also explains why everyone is getting more experience than bullet um, cause they want to make sure your starter can listen to you. But the other ones, they want to add that, that extra little challenge, you know? And so, I think that's really cool, because for one, we can gain levels fast. Um, and it's, it's like a cool concept to think about. Also, the reason why I was cool with catching Norbert was because I was on the hunt for a Pokemon that could learn Cut at first. And, uh, Norbert can most definitely learn Cut. So let's cut us some trees and uh, see what's going on in this temple. I'm pretty sure this is the same temple, but that wouldn't make sense. The temple with Steelix in it? But see, we're finding the Pokemon of the other area now. The Temperate Zone. But that wouldn't make sense for this to be the cave with Steelix in it because we... Okay. <laughs> because we... uh. We came out of that, into the mountain area. I don't think I have anything for sleep. Well. Let's hope we wake up and burn this thing with Ember. Absorb kind of does more than I would want it to. Norbert is getting close to 15. He'll definitely be at 15 after this, so that'll be cool. Just one level away. 
All right, this is not going well. Come on, Norbert, you got this. Oh my gosh. In this game, the Pokemon stay asleep way too long. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal it up. Citrus berry. Oh yeah. There we go. Cause it should wake up now. Okay, way to crit me, bro. Like you should wake up. Thank you. You were asleep for like five turns. Ooh. Hey. Nice revenge crit. I like it. All right, let's go, Norbert. Get him. You do, Chermander, pulling through. Hey. That was a lot of experience. We can get us a Charmeleon soon, too. Yeah, this is the same spot. That doesn't make any sense. Someone tell me how that makes any sense. Ah, I knew it. I was gonna say, I'm not afraid to run through here now. We got Stram. We got Stram. Or, I mean, we, we got Pina. That's that's about what we got. You know, I might try and fight the dude again. <laughs> Especially since, like, everything is missing. To an extent. And it's kind of really funny. Like, this dude just missed Magnitude. <laughs> How funny is that? I mean, I don't know if I'll win, but... It'll be interesting to try, you know? A level 18 Pena. Freaking Geodudes. Get out of here. Norbert would be like a cool Pokemon to battle against him with. I would love to see if I could win with Bullet, but... I know it gave me like 600 experience last time. Oh, that was between two Pokemon though. Damn. If I get like 1200, I could almost put Bullet up to level 20. But that would mean Bullet would have to be the one to kill it. I don't see how that's gonna happen. To be honest. So I'd have to split it. <laughs> Yo, I love this Assassin Stone thing. Like, it's like every other attack misses. And it's really funny. <laughs> it's like the ones that have 100% accuracy are like they have a good shot at missing and the ones that are like <laughs> anywhere under a hundred percent there's there's just no way it's gonna miss like every time it's really funny you know you're a pretty cool dude gotta admit I wonder if I could like catch you yo Fanny what you got antidote okay now I can't burn you what kind of darts do I have? I'm hoping I can find more darts. See, an ice dart, that'd be pretty cool. There wouldn't be any, like, residual damage, but... Alright. How do I want to do this? Alright, let's start with bullet. Maybe we'll catch this guy. I don't know. I mean, this dude's got Earthquake, and a cool name, and is crazy looking. <laughs> I would not mind having one of these. Alright, let's go into Lalo. I don't even know what level this thing is. But it is still just as terrifying. Let's lower that attack and dodge some moves. Damn it! It's gonna kill me, isn't it? Okay, well, he crit me. I mean, I feel like it definitely could've, could've killed me still. But either way, let's go out in the fanny. Oh man, I got rid of Growl. Defense Curl. No! Oh. Alright, we got those defenses up. And we got those rolls out. It's gonna do extra damage now. Hey! Hey! No, stop hitting that! No, Fanny! Oh my gosh. Alright, this is plus four rollout. Yo! 
No, I didn't get to hit him with the max attack rollout. Alright, so what I'm trying to do here is weaken him. Potentially for bullet. Let's try Norbert. I don't know if I'm going to be faster. All I can do is hope. Ah! Damage? No! You could have missed that. <gasps> You're still alive. Ah! Burn him! Damn it! Okay. <sighs> is there... I don't want to use my freeze dart here. I really don't. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna win with Pina, cause that that's what's happening here. Ah! Oh my gosh, he's still alive. <laughs> All right, there, there's no way that's killing me. Oh my gosh, that did nothing. Later, dude. I definitely want to catch this guy at some point. I only got 300. Dang! So I did beat him solo with something dang I wonder if I could win with just Pina and Bullet I mean probably not because I'll have to switch Pina into an earthquake but still yeah see what is this what is this okay he's gone again alright well that's weird that going down leads back to another like just just that whole map situation is kind of weird but it's chill we got uh we got bullet up to 19 <laughs>